strikes. Boom, boom, and the grabs and the palm strikes. Like if I'm just right here, right? Like right here, I make sure my face is protected. I might sidestep a little bit, but just boom, right here, right in the rib cage. Whatever, right? I swipe his guard away and I'm doing the knuckle, using my knuckles to come and scrape his face. Grabs a hold of me, right? Boom, right? Sorry, I kicked him super hard there. That was good. <laughs> boom, Whoa. and just, you know, get into a low center, just push him. Like, don't pick on me, right? Wait, boom, right here. Just boom, right here, and then bang, back this, and then you can follow up with whatever you want. Thank you, Hoiwa. Here with my friend Jao from Dragon Lords again. Thank you for doing this with me. So, we're gonna talk about Hong Kun street applications. As you know, traditional Chinese Kung Fu is for military, for bare knuckle street fighting. It's not for combat sports. So, today I wanna to show you some basic Hong Kun techniques that my teacher taught me, and I'm gonna demonstrate on my partner. As always, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. First one that was taught to me by my teacher, okay, is Mang Fu Hasan, okay, like this, okay. Now in reality, I'm not gonna, you know, take a low stance like this. I mean, this is kind of like more like a training stance, okay. I'm not gonna get into a street fight and do some crazy big movement like this. But you know, if we were on the street, if somebody was approaching me, like he wanted to grab me or something like that, right here, this is the application, okay. Boom, I grab him in the throat, right? This is to get his arm away. Like if he's guarding himself in some way, shape or form, right? If I got the Hong Kun, right? I got the, the Ang Kyu, hard bridge, right? I can swipe his body and basically move his whole structure away. Boom, this is the claw to the throat, okay? Or I'm palm striking him into the chin, into the face, into his nose, anything like that. That's Mang Fu Hasan. The previous one was uh, Fierce Tiger Comes Down the Mountain. This one is Single Tiger Catching the Lamb. Pretty similar, except I take a side step, you know, if he tries to punch me with the other hand or whatever like that, or if he goes with his left hand, right? Boom! Same thing, okay? In real life, you know, I don't want to take this chamber and put it down real low like this and get in a really classical stance like that. That's not necessary. That's just for training. That's just for the form, right? But in reality, you know, if he's coming at me, right? It would be like this, it would be like this, okay? Sorry. Okay. I'm a little rough on him, but like, boom, I really want to grab him by the throat and really threaten him, right? You don't feel comfortable here. No. Like, you don't feel comfortable here. So if you're practicing, you know, like your real Kung Fu skills, you're practicing, you know, Tisa Jung and you're like stabbing the sand and everything like that, your hands are going to pick up rough. And you're going to got that, and you gotta, you're going to have that grip strength when you're doing the, the pole training and everything like that, right? So when you got that grip strength, it's like, this is like pretty lethal because I'm just gripping and I can just crush his throat right here. And I can follow up with any kind of palm strikes. That's why we have tiger movements like this, okay, for the palm strikes. Boom, boom, and the grabs and the palm strikes. That's why we do open hand, open hand. As you street fighters know, you know we do open hand. Third technique for street fighting, obviously the very classical way is, as you've seen it in the form, right? You know, your yatsi chart here. You're trying to protect your face while you do the yatsi chart, right? Obviously, in street fight, I'm not gonna get into this low stance like this and punch him in the stomach like this. It's too slow, right? I wanna modify it a little bit, but if he comes to me, right? It's just easy, like liver shot, like right here. Or punch him right in the solar plexus. Like that didn't feel good, no. right? He, he's backing up a little bit, but if you come into the center a little bit, like if I'm just right here, right? Like right here. Like it doesn't have to be this whole exaggerated movement, but it's the same thing. It's a little parry, right? Make sure my face is protected. I might sidestep a little bit, but just boom, right here, right in the rib cage, right? Just knock one of his rotating, uh, one, of, one of his floating ribs and just knock it right through, right? Simple, basic, right? That's it. But if you practice this a lot, like this could be a very powerful strike. It's just a side punch, sun punch, right? That's what it is, yet each other. So next technique, this one is a really, you know, signature technique. I really love this technique. You see me use it in my fights and everything like that. 
uh, in, in the West, Western boxing, you know, we call it uh, overhand, you know, overhand right or overhand left, right? But obviously in Chinese boxing, there's different ways of calling it. Uh, you can call it cup chart, which is, uh, I am swiping his guard away. Like let's say if he's coming at me, whatever, right? I swipe his guard away and I'm doing a knuckle, using my knuckles to come and scrape his face, okay? I wanna aim for the chin here. I want to aim for, you know, basically the back of his jaw. So I can really break his jaw. Or I'm aiming at his cheekbone right here. And I'm trying to break his orbital doing that. If I get him in the eye too, that's great too, you know? So that's the, the cup chart, knuckle punch. Now, if we want to uh, modify that a bit, okay, we do sao so if So he, if, he, if he's, you know, whatever, punching me like this, or if he's got his guard up, or maybe even he's got a hold of my hand like this, right? And I'm really, really strong because I've been training, you know, my stance and everything like that. I can do sao So if you grab onto me, boom, like this, right? Once he comes back, I'm already loaded up like this, boom, okay? Hitting him with my ankyu, my hard bridge or my forearm uh, or, or uh, iron bridge, okay? And if I've done my home training, right? If I've done my conditioning and everything like that, uh, sorry, well, conditioning, right? Everything like that, right? I've got my iron bridge here. So this is a reliable weapon. I mean, Zhang Wei Li literally just did, did that move, right? She went side kick. And then as Joanna Yongjiechek went, came in, she went boom, like this, spinning back fist, right? She hit her, hit her with her uh, forearm bow. So it's really, really lethal. You can just put people out like that, right? So obviously you have to train it. You can't just randomly throw it like this and not expect to like break your own bone or something like that. You gotta be well conditioned, right? So one more time, if I do cup chui, boom, right? If I do sao chui, right? Sao chui, boom, right? It could be like this. Or if he doesn't move around, let's say try, you try to be really solid here, right? Boom, right? It's just a swipe like this. Boom, that's how you apply. The next one I wanna show is the uh, butterfly palm and sweep or butterfly palm and uh, low kick. So in the form, you know, it looks like this, right? So boom, boom, and then like that, right? But obviously, you know, on the street in the realistic fighting, I'm not gonna do something, you know, crazy like that, flowery, right? I just wanna keep it real basic, real simple. So if he's like, or whatever, he's coming up to me, maybe he's gotta hold my neck or whatever it is, right? It's just really simple, like boom. Right? I'm just grabbing a hold, redirecting his energy a little bit, and I'm just stopping his shin right here. Like, it hurts. I'm not gonna stop him hard, but he knows that it hurts. Boom, right? Or even boom on the knee, okay? But really, I wanna kick low like this. This guy really, really hurt. And then from here, you know, it doesn't have to be this whole classical movement where I'm, you know, pushing him away from the hip and the shoulder like this. I mean, that's like the, the traditional way of doing it, but you know, if we're applying it, right? Right, he grabs a hold of me, right? Boom. Right? Sorry, I kick him super hard there. <laughs> oh, good. Boom. Cool. And just, you know, get into a low center, just push him. Like if we're in a, you know, a stairway or alleyway or whatever, you know, I push him down the stairs or I push him down the alley, you know? Uh, if we're, you know, in an escalator situation, I push him down the escalator, right? Or if we're on the subway or whatever, I'm pushing him. Well, maybe I don't want to push him into the subway, uh, you know, in the, in, the, in the train tracks, but that's, that's the theory anyway, that's the concept. So this one, I'll just change the uh, angle a little bit since, uh, you know, my friend Jaws is, is uh, you know, standing this way. But, you know, let's say if you're like, you know, minding your own business and you're kind of just chilling like right here. This is like the, our, our last technique for this video, okay? Is the, the infamous, you know, monkey steals peach, okay? So, you know, if somebody's trying to come at you, on, you know, and you, you, you're just trying to be on your side, right? I mean, you're fully aware that someone is coming at you, right? Like, he's walking towards you, right? You don't, you don't want to face him to like alarm him and let him know that something's about to happen. But at the same time, you're kind of just like, you're ready, but you're not like going to show him that you're ready. So he's approaching you, right? He's coming up to you. Maybe he's saying some words to you in your face, right? Maybe he's like just, just talking into your ear and he's threatening you or whatever. Then you're like, well, hey, you know, like, like you're kind of like showing him like you're like, like you're giving him the body language like submissive. It's like, okay, you're, you're not trying to face him and fight him because then you're just going to alarm him. You're going to set him off. You're just kind of like, Sir, you know, I don't, I don't want any trouble. Like, don't, I, I don't know how to fight, right? Like, don't pick on me, right? Wait, boom, right here. Just boom, right here. And then bang, back this, and then you can follow up with whatever you want. So that's, you know, the, the secret, uh, you know, dirty techniques, you know, Chinese Kung Fu. Like Bruce Lee said, you know, the Chinese, we always hit low, boom. That's the monkey steal speech. So hope you guys like this uh, short, quick video. 
Remember, Chinese Kung Fu is for street fighting, is for bare knuckle fighting, right? It's not necessarily for combat sports. So I wouldn't do this in combat sports because, you know, these are like illegal techniques. But I would do this on the street. Whoosh.